How are you? Are you rolling? Yeah, we, we're always rolling. How are you guys? You good? Is this your first time at Cool Cakes? It is. To everyone out there, before we get in this video, let's get a quick drip check of your outfit. So you got some so, Nikes on. We have the Nikes, we have the leather skirt, the tennis, and ring and earring set. And I of style. course, very that. And then we have the Louis bag and the Coach Dunnies. And of course, the 30 inch bundle. <laughs> Um, are you, are you into sneakers? I see you guys uh, sneakers on and you It's like some? a newfound hobby. It is? Yeah, very new. I'm very excited about it. Uh, uh, how many pairs seven. do you have in your collection? I think right now I have like seven. Seven? Oh, so you're yeah. super early. Yeah, super early. That's dope. So someone that doesn't know your journey, how'd you get started with this whole social media craze that's been going on? If I'm being honest, I think it just started like, I've been on TikTok for like almost two years oh, and yeah. it popped off like a year ago. And yeah, ever since that first video of me get, trying to get a lick back on somebody. That's, that's, what, that's, what <laughs> that's basically what started all of it. That's and then yeah, it just popped off and now we're here. We're at Cool Kicks LA. Right? <laughs> uh, so what size should you wear? We'll take you to our boat and show you some drip. I am a 12. Size well, 12? normally I'm like a 10 and a half, but I get a 12 because I have like a wider foot. So. 12. So you're usually a 10 and a half, but you would need a 12. Yeah, I got a 12. All right, let's see. A any preference on style? Um, jo Jordan, Dunks, like Yeezys. Streetwear vibes. Dunk, dunk lows, dunk highs? Mm -hmm. So size 12. Size 12 men's? Women's? Yeah, men. Men's? Perfect. So let's take you to our vote. What else have you been up to? I've been seeing you uh, on people's streams, running it up. Very much just traveling, living my best life. What does living your best life consist of? Being happy and enjoying all the vibes. Very much staying in the moment in the craziness that is social media. No, for sure. If someone were to ask you today, are you happy? Are you happy? Yeah. Well, you are? I'm very happy right now. What defines happiness to you? I think for me, it's stability. Well, that's a good answer. Stability. And just making sure my loved ones around me are good. No, for sure. Where are you originally from? Like, uh, Are you from LA, California? Where are you originally from? So I'm from Arizona. I'm from Tucson, Arizona, guys. Okay. Yeah, so I was born and raised there. Uh, my parents are both from Mexico. So, yeah, very much a Mexican family-oriented person. Oh, that's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. All right, so let's show you some size 12s right here that we have. I want to I get your feedback on this one because you said you, you like... Oh, I don't know if you've ever seen these before. No, those look kind of cool. These are like CPFM's shoes, um, some Nike sneakers. I don't know. What's your feedback on these? You can be honest on our channel too if you don't like them. If you think they're ugly, oh, you, you can be honest. I would them. wear them personally. I just don't know what I what I would wear them with. It would go with your outfit right now, all black. Yeah, that's very true. What's the most you ever spent on a pair of shoes, even though it's a new hobby for you? Like almost 400. 400? Yeah. Oh, wow. Are you based out of Arizona? Are there sneaker stores out there? Yeah, there is. There's a few. I think Co uh, Common Hype is in Arizona. I don't know if you ever heard of them. Common no. Hype? Try to Common Hype. They're uh, based out of Arizona. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to show you a good one that you can't resist. Oh, they're so good. It's not good at this I thing. love those. Those are really fucking cute. So we'll put a couple potentials aside and then you can pick which one you like on the band. Okay, for sure. Potential? Those are potential. Yeah, those are potential. What's your favorite color? Pink. Okay, yeah. All right, we're swag. I like a baby pink. Not like something too hard. I don't know how many pink shoes we got, but let's see. Let's see. Pink or neutral? This is a dunk high. I see you have some mid dunks. Those are fucking sick. And that Nike swoosh comes out too. Dude, I am obsessed with these. I kind of need these. That's a good one, right? Potential or the. Yeah. Uh, these are a contender, like top is it really? Contender. Oh, it's a top contender. This is a top contender. These are fucking sick. That's cool. I love these. All right, so I'm gonna put those to the side for you. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. You know, at Cool Kicks, we have a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Which I'm really excited about because I kind of lurked on the page before I got here and I was like, okay. Okay, shoes. Okay, shoes. <laughs> you, you did your due diligence before yeah, you pulled out. Yeah, very much that. Oh, uh, how long are you in LA for? Are you here for shooting content or what are you Yeah, doing? I'm here for some work stuff and I have a photo shoot this afternoon and then some other stuff like that. Are you, are you collabing with anyone while in town? Because, you know, a lot of content creators are out here. We'll see. I don't know. Sheesh. <laughs> these are pretty popular too. These are the Jordan 1 Lost to Founds. I don't know if you've mm -hmm. ever seen these before. Not a fan. I have those. Oh, you got... Let me find out. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so we got those. We got. Let's see what else we got. So style wise, is that is that dunk thing your your yeah. style? Honestly, those other ones you showed me were sick. But you might like, be sold on those. Yeah, I really am. See, those are really cute. I just don't know if orange is like my vibe. Mm -hmm. Cause I wouldn't know how to style them. That's the thing about certain shoes. You just gotta. It's hard figuring out what what to go with them. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, it's very. What about? You probably already have these, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna show it to you just to show it. Are you looking at the pandas? Man, you might as well get a job over here. I have here. like two pairs of these. You do? I have like my nice pair and then I have like the ones where I go fuck shit up in. Cause uh, like you need two pairs. You do. Keep one clean. Yeah, keep, keep one, keep one clean. for the daily routine. You know that. Then also New Balance has been, been making a comeback. I don't mm. know if you're a fan of New Balance. I have some that is too narrow for my feet. But it I'm like still set on those. Sit on that one? Yeah. Remind me we have to go with that. That might be our best contender honestly. Yeah. With all the stuff that we have here. Cause like. Everything's really cute, but those ones just like sold me. So let's go with these ones. Very that. What the upcoming projects? What else? You, what's what's next for you? Was either social media or like other stuff you've been working on? So right now, I'm very much in the process of just like still being busy on social media, um, keeping everything up honestly that I've been doing, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Hopefully within the year, if I'm being 100% honest, um, I find something to invest all the profit that I'm making right now, which thank God I am. Um, Are you running it up? Love and fun. <laughs> oh, so I'm, I'm very guys. Okay, as as you're humble. It's really nice to flex everything that you have. If I can give the best advice to anybody, be smart with your money, invest it, save it, do whatever you can with it, and don't just blow it. It's fun to splurge every now and then, but a lot of people do that. They get a lot of money and they just start just wasting it buying mm -hmm. cars or jewelry mm -hmm. or gambling. Mm -hmm. Do you gamble? No, not at all. At all? No. Because I know you're around people that gamble. You don't ever get tempted? No. That's I, not for me. I used to be like that. I used to have friends that gamble and I would be at the casino and I'd be like, yeah, I don't know if I want to. It's because it's like, why test your luck? Like, if you got it like that, then like, why push it? It just doesn't make sense. I've seen friends who are so happy go go down so bad, almost a million dollars in front of me, and I'm like, damn, this is bad. That's insane. I don't know if I'd ever do something like that, but. What's your, what's your, what, what, what are you going to be investing in? Do you think like. Houses or stocks or like what's it? I eventually get invested in property mm -hmm. um, Probably open up some sort of business of mine But I also want to get like invested in clothing because I feel like there's a gap in fashion because like obviously like bitch I know I'm big. I'm not stupid, but there's a gap in like plus-size fashion and not just for men But for also like or not just for women, but also men So I want to be able to make like the high-end clothing quality like quality of clothing I guess yeah. I could say for people who are plus size. I don't size think anyone's like, done that. Has anyone yeah, done like, that, right? Luxury for plus size? Yeah, luxury plus size. Like, that's something I seriously want to get into. That's smart. Luxury plus size, because I feel like, yeah, there is plus size clothing, but you're only so limited. And, like, not to shit on, like, certain brands, but, like, how come, like, there's a curb section? And, yeah, they got nice shit, but it's nowhere near as quality as, like, someone who's a size two, three, four, five, six. You know, so that's definitely something I do want to eventually start on my you're own. passionate about it that's mm -hmm. good that's yeah dope. because like why not like who wants to like big or not like you want to look fresh as fuck no for so. sure and i know you've been on with social media a couple years now you said right mm -hmm. I'll, i always ask people that are like uh, heavy on social media they're active uh how do you deal with the hate does no, it affect you mentally or no not at no not at all um i feel like i grew up having extremely thick skin if i'm being honest um i grew up with brothers so you can already imagine the banter between us and like all the shit talking we have and all the fist fighting so i feel like they built me up and like other shit that i went through when i was younger definitely built me up for something like this um so it can e it's easier said than done being like oh yeah it doesn't affect me i do have my days where it does take its toll but for the most part i know who i am as a person i know what i bring to the table and i feel like that's all that matters as long as you're happy self-happiness is everything for sure Perfect. So we got these pairs of shoes. We'll run. You, you know, you know the interesting thing about these. These come They're out welcome. too. Yeah. And you have all these little extra designs you can plug and play with. Okay. Is that crazy? That's like. All right, perfect. Let's go up there. You, you play sports growing up, or do you no, play? No, I'm not athletic at all. So no sports at all? No, I'm not athletic. So you know we have our infamous basketball room right here inside of Cool Kicks. Yeah. So I'm gonna give you a chance to win these for free. Okay. But you gotta make one jump shot at least. One jump shot. You only get one chance though, unless you want a practice shot. Yeah, we have to do a practice shot. Um, okay, guys. So oh, gonna, you might we're gonna do the practice there, shot here at Cool Kicks LA. And let's try to get these shoes. It's a beautiful day. Tell everyone that's watching this video right now, we are opening Las Vegas Form Shop's biggest resale store in the world. 
um, coming soon, so make sure to pull out. We're opening a store in Las Vegas. Oh, I seen that. You saw that, right? That looks like are you, are, do you go to Vegas often? Um, not too often, but for the most part, like I'll try to go when I can. I saw you went recently, right? Aiden Ross's birthday. How yeah. was that? So much fun. It was lit. Perfect. Shout out to Aiden. Aiden's been here a couple, many times. Yeah. All right, perfect. So the line is a little bit back. I'm right there. Are you ready? I don't want to like hit anybody. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're looking too good. Oh! Frankie! I know you guys got that shit on camera. Period. And for somebody who tried to play basketball in third grade, bitch, I did that. So and now, what about yeah, it? Now I need a, I need a post game interview. <laughs> Where's your advice? Because before before you took that jump shot, you told me back there you never played sports ever, right? I think that was. So just, what made you make that? That was all of. I don't know what it was. That was just fucking luck because I have no fucking aim. Who are some people that share, are your dream collabs for you for social media? Probably like Jarrell Fallow, Tana, um, Gigi, Nikita. Just like all of my like OG staples that mm -hmm. I grew up watching. Those are the people you grew up yeah, watching? Yeah, like Desi Perkins. Just like, Bro OGs. Yeah, very much like all like 2015, 2016 YouTube days. Yeah, I know. I watched a lot of David Dobrik. David Dobrik, yeah. yeah I don't think he makes videos no more, does he? I don't YouTube? Think so. I think it's a Snapchat. He has a pizza. You know you opened a pizza spot, right? Dobrik? I did. I kind of want to go. It's on Sunset. It's like five minutes from here. Yeah, I kind of want to go. That shit looks We, we went once. It was all right. It was not bad. Oh, it's yeah. good. I wouldn't, uh, I, I wouldn't eat it like, day, like often, but it's good. It's a good pizza. Mm. I don't know if you can ever go wrong with pizza. Have you ever had bad pizza? Really? Are you a foodie? I am, obviously. What, what, hey, yo! <laughs> What's your favorite food? Um, I like pasta. I make the best fucking shrimp alfredo, if I'm being 100% honest. Um, second would probably have to be pizza. Third, I love a good shrimp taco. Fourth, any Mexican food. Any kind of gorditas, empanadas, tamales, birria, quesadilla. You guys already know, I'm Latina as fuck, so. Very much the vibe, okay? Así nomás. No, that's dope, that's dope. I well, appreciate you pulling up. Let's get you checked out right here. Fire. What are you, you going to wear with those? Honestly? That's a hard shoe to match too, though. I don't know. Maybe just like an all basic fit and then just like a cute little pop of color with the shoes. Mmm. Respect. How would you style them? Honestly, I would wear like all black with them. I don't know what I would wear. I'm not, I'm, as you can see, I just put shit on. Yeah. I would put that shit on, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can tell. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you look good. In the dark. Hey, in the dark. I Girl, wake you up. You came a long way. I used to dress horrible. Yeah. But I wasn't raised like, you know what I mean? I was, I was always into fashion, but I couldn't afford the latest drip. But then when I started getting money, I was like, alright, let me wear some designer brands and stuff. But I really appreciate you pulling up. Before we end this video, to somebody that's watching this video that wants to be active on social media, any words of advice? Be consistent, and most of all, be yourself, be authentic, be the best version of yourself because people are going to be able to tell when it's forced or when it's there's a motive behind it and I feel like that's just the key ingredient is just being 100% authentic mm. and also don't lose yourself in the process of the career you're trying to pursue within social media because I feel like people around you are going to notice it and the best thing to do is just be the, be the energy you want to no, receive. Sure. Uh, so you said it well. So I appreciate you pulling out to everyone watching this video. We're on the road to 2 million subscribers. And on that note, thank you for kicking with a cool peace.